Hey guys, welcome back to another Merle on Time Watch Reviews. I unbox and review budget watches. Today I am rocking my Pagani Design PD1644 uh, Daytona Homie. Now, I got a really exciting one for you to show today. Have a look at this dial. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Zelos Aurora Titanium Field Watch. Really special watch to me because a subscriber to the channel that has been watching my videos almost from the time I started this journey gifted me this watch. He bought it for himself and then not too long after that he ended up getting his Grail watch which was an Omega Speedmaster and seeing that he wasn't wearing the Zelos watch nearly as often as a result of getting the Speedy sent me an email saying he wanted to give it to me. And so he sent it to me. I've had it for a while. I wore it all last week. Such a fantastic watch. And it's coming up right now on Merle on Time Watch Reviews. Up ahead of this introduction, of course, the up close and personal, and then my likes and gripes of this watch. So let's go. <laughs> Right, guys i hope you enjoyed the up close and personal of this watch and i think uh, it is absolutely gorgeous i do want to give a huge thank you to andre viewer and subscriber of my channel uh, for gifting me this watch andre i absolutely love this watch and am enjoying it and it will never leave my collection so let's deal with the specifications of the watch so that you know what you're getting for your money if you can pick up one of these um you won't find it on the Zelos homepage. You probably have to go to eBay or uh, Facebook Marketplace or something like that. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But the price of this watch when it was uh, available, when it was first released, was $549. US You have a case diameter of 42 millimeters. Your lug-to-lug -lug length is 49 millimeters on the website, but I uh, actually measured it with Super Cali at about 48.4. Thickness of 12.2. You have a lug width of 22 millimeters at the lugs there. Uh, the movement inside of this watch is a high beat movement. It's a Miyota 9039 movement. I've seen these on a few micro brands and I absolutely love this movement. There's no rotor noise with this movement. And of course you get that high beat, uh, 28,800 vibrations per minute. 
and uh, ticking at eight beats per second, giving that seconds hand a really nice sweeping motion. Uh, it is, as you can see on the dial here, I'll just zoom in a little bit, water resistant to 200 meters. You do have a flat sapphire crystal covering the dial with AR coating. I think you can kind of see that there now, the AR coating on that uh, sapphire glass, which is nice. And the bracelet, the case, uh, is all titanium. Uh, and it's a grade two titanium uh, with 1200 HV hardened coating. So this is gonna be tough as nails. And uh, you can see the finishing on there as well. You got a bit of a linear brushed surface there. Um, or vertical, I should say. The, uh, the the bracelet itself, look at that. It's just so gorgeous. It's uh, looks like it's got a like a bit of a bead blasted finish, really smooth finish on it. Um, I do love the angles of the uh, of that H-Link system. It's got screw pins. You do have a really nice clasp on this one as well. Uh, double security pushers. No fold over lock though, but uh, it's a nice milled clasp and you do have an on the fly adjustment in there, which is nice. We'll talk more about that in a second. It is super lightweight and super comfortable on the wrist. Screw down crown. Uh, that is actually also uh, loomed on the crown. You have a really nice etched uh, or etched bead blasted case back with a, a sail ship there on the uh, on the case back information on the case back as well. It's a screw down case back, screw down crown, uh, providing that 200 meters of water resistance. The loom on this watch is really good as well. Let's go to the time lapse of the loom shot. Uh, and again, on my time lapse videos on these looms, any loom that lasts 20 minutes or longer on the time lapse is very, very good loom. Uh, if it lasts 15 minutes, it's good. If it lasts 10 minutes, it's like, okay. If it doesn't last 10 minutes, not great. So uh, you'll see that there are some elements on this dial that are really good. Uh, some are great, some are not so good at all. So let's, uh, let's go to the loom shot now and let you have a look at that. Okay guys, so you can see there's some elements on the dial that have great loom, some elements on the dial not so much, but overall um, I, I read the loom as, as quite good on this uh, watch and that's good to see using uh, Super Luminova on uh, the indices, hour and minute hand and whatnot. So that takes me now to talk about my likes and my gripes about uh, this particular watch. Uh, let's begin with my likes. I love this dial. Uh, this mosaic mother of pearl dial is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it is just phenomenal. Have a look at that. And uh, I just think, you know, this is one of those watches where you're not only looking at the dial to tell the time, you're just looking at it to enjoy the artistry, enjoy the beauty of it. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. The bracelet is also really, really nice. It's amazing. It's super smooth. Uh, there's no rough edges whatsoever. It's super comfortable to wear. Um, absolutely fantastic. Lightweight. It's titanium. Highly scratch resistant, this one. And so, yeah, really, really well done. Well made. Um, the loom on the watch is good. What you would expect when you pay for this price. The movement, again, I really, really like the high beat movement in the watch. I really appreciate the fact that they've chosen the Miyota 9039. I think it's an excellent uh, movement. I hope more micro brands would utilize this movement, giving that uh, seconds hand, look at the nice smooth sweep on that seconds hand because of the high beat movement. So I really, really love that. The finishing uh, on this watch is really, really quite good. Uh, you got a combination of bead blasted finishing with uh, some brush surfaces there, and uh, that 
ring around the top part of the case leading up to the bezel. Looks like it could be just a sliver of bead blasting um, uh, before a brushed um, finish and surface around uh, the bezel there or the titanium bezel. So a really, really nice uh, look. It's it's super tooly. Uh, I mean, it's just, um, just that titanium and just the, the finishing. Uh, just fantastic, super tooly looking. So it's got a really good look, a really good tooly look. And the fact that it's titanium means it can handle more bumps and scrapes and not show evidence of said bumps and scrapes. So those are my likes, guys. Um, but I have some gripes about this watch as well that we uh, that we need to talk about. Uh, and the first gripe is the on-the-fly adjustment on the bracelet. Now, while I do really like the fact that it has an on-the-fly adjustment and it's easy to use, you just push it and slide that in and out. Uh, the other side of it, unfortunately, doesn't integrate too well uh, with the bracelet. Uh, it just It just kind of looks odd. Um, and so fortunately for me, I don't have to uh, extend that at all to wear this watch the way that I have the bracelet adjusted to my wrist. But, uh, you know, that just, uh, it's kind of funny looking uh, when it sticks out of there. Um, so that's one gripe. Uh, the crown, uh, a couple of things about this crown. I don't really see the point of putting loom on. I mean, it's it's kind of, I don't know, kitschy, unique, maybe. But I would rather have them uh, applied more loom uh, to the outer ring, uh, the five minute markers on the dial. Uh, by the way, a bit of a sandwich dial too. It's layered the uh, intervals at uh, 12, three, six, and nine are applied on top, but all the rest of them are underneath that uh, mosaic mother of pearl uh, dial, which is fantastic. But the crown, let's get back to that. Um, so put the loom, get the loom off of the, the branding. Um, that's just silly to me. Um, put more of it on the markers and the dial. And the action of the crown I found is is pretty decent, but re-threading can sometimes be a trick. Sometimes uh, you catch that first thread a little bit off. And if you, um, if you get a little too ambitious in uh, turning this back in, uh, you can start to really... Um, damage the, uh, the threading there. So you gotta be very, very careful uh, when you screw this crown back in. Might just be this particular watch. Um, not sure if it's indicative of all the watches in the lineup, but something to be careful of. Uh, the lugs, um, this is just a, a minor gripe and, and it's not, it, it's just, it's very different because as you can see, um, the lugs kind of don't follow the shape of the case as it comes down. They actually flare back out. And uh, in the wrist shot that I'll give you at, at the end, you can kind of see it, it. It definitely gives it a different look. Uh, I'm used to the lugs that just kind of continue to come down toward the bracelet. These kind of stop and then jut out a little bit. Um, and it, it gives it a bit of a different look. It's not one that I hate. It's not one that I love either. Um, but uh, yeah, the, it's just a little bit kind of odd, oddly shaped lugs in my opinion. And the branding did leave me a little confused, and I have to explain this. Um, it's a field watch. It's advertised as a field watch, but it doesn't really have what you would call a field watch aesthetic. And the name Aurora doesn't uh, seem to fit as well. Aurora means dawn. Uh, Aurora was the Roman goddess of the dawn, and it can also refer to, you know, the Aurora Borealis or the northern or the solar lights and you know, with the exception of maybe a few images, most of the northern lights have a green hue to them, um, not, you know, blue or purple, although that can happen from time to time, but um, it's just confusing. And then, you know, it's a field watch, and then on the back you have a, uh, a sailboat, which... <laughs> so it's, it's just a little odd. The other gripe that I have, and, and this is for the company, not for the watch itself, is the availability. Any of these, and, and it speaks to the success of the brand, but they're bloody hard to get your hands on a Zelos watch when they release them. If you are not on the website the moment the countdown uh, comes to a conclusion to pick up uh, one of these watches, you're going to be hard pressed to be able to get one. They re-release them from time to time, but I think, uh, you know, guys, you know how successful you are. Make more of the watches, make them more available. Um, 
So yeah, that is my final gripe, guys. Let me show this watch to you on my wrist. And uh, yeah, I think you'll see it. It looks pretty fantastic. Okay, guys, and there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. Now, uh, you can see what I mean about those lugs, how they kind of, um, you know, widen uh, at the at the lug there. Um, yeah, it gives it a bit of a different look. Well, not one that I hate, not one that I love. But uh, yeah, just have a look at that super comfortable bracelet. I mean, oh my goodness, this thing just sits like butter on the wrist. It's absolutely gorgeous. So guys, that'll do it for this review of the Zelos Aurora Titanium Field Watch. I think it's an absolutely beautiful watch. So thankful to have received this from Andre, my friend. Again, if you guys want to pick this watch up, very difficult to find. You'll have to find it secondhand on eBay or perhaps Facebook Marketplace or Reddit, whatever, wherever you buy your watches. Uh, and do bear in mind it's 549 USD brand new, so definitely don't be spending more than that. Hopefully you can find this one out there if it strikes your fancy. It's absolutely gorgeous and you won't regret buying this watch. It is absolutely fantastic. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and of course leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this watch. And whenever you leave your house, remember, guys, you have to have a great-looking piece to wear on your wrist like this one, this beautiful Zelos uh, Titanium Aurora Field Watch. And wherever you are going, you need to get there on time. God bless, guys. We'll see you in the next one.